starting off with a full frontal face to face, eye to eye of the tiger stare down with cousin it here, my maxillaria variabilis. Of course, not in bloom, but never mind, sporting the look. I wanted to be actually the first one to welcome you on this episode of Blooms For You. Not quite understanding the point of Blooms For You when he is not in bloom. However, we are going to be indulging Cousin It more and more and more now because it's just a little bit of fun to welcome you to this episode of Blooms For You where we have found some more names on the list. We have some more blooms to dedicate. And I'm sorry, what are you saying? You see, he keeps interrupting me. It is hard enough to focus with all the hoopla going on beyond the hedge. When I bring Cousin It into the viewfinder, he just yap, 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 yap. Okay. I will, I will. Here we go. Dendrobium hibiki. Cousin It has a point. Dendrobium hibiki is here to say thank you to everybody that watches this video for supporting my channel just by clicking on the video, taking the time to watch the video. So this beautiful cluster of blooms of my precious Dendrobium hibiki blooms for everybody that watches this video today or maybe in a few months down the line. Know that you are welcome, know that you are appreciated, and know that there is a list that is always being added to. Whenever I see a new name in the comments below or I see a new subscriber, they go on the list. If you've never commented before, feel encouraged to do so. Let me add you to the list and then eventually we will have some blooms for you. Just like with everybody that was mentioned here today. Oh my goodness, this Dendrobium hippiki is just insanity, gorgeousness. So the names coming up now have been around for a while, but as orchid blooms go, they don't bloom very quickly, but when they do, they're gorgeous. So here are some blooms for you that have come up on the list. Bloom number five of Sologeny Lime Bay. Bloom number five. I dedicate this bloom to you, Miss Leia. She has been open only two days now. I normally take that little cap off, but I thought for the sake of this video, I would show you how it is protected. The bud is protected by a cap. And when the bloom opens, it pops off, which is pretty, pretty cool little protective measure for Sologeny Lime Bay as the bud forms. There we go. Look at this. Oh my goodness, fifth bloom. I have to say that I'm still pleased that the spike is holding on so nicely. I'm just making sure that the leaves don't heat up. It is not a hazy day. It is incredibly bright and crisp light with a crisp atmosphere. So the sun is much, much hotter than it was a couple of days ago with the haze. But for the point and the sake of filming this, I think it is just pretty how it reflects some of the sunlight on the bloom and yet doesn't wash out the colors. It's long enough so that we can see it beyond the leaf, but it is sort of the spike is curling down this way behind the leaf. And if I turn the pot, it doesn't present itself this time around as well as it did the last time around, because every time a bloom comes, there's like a zigzag in the spike so the direction of the bloom and its opening changes with each opening bloom. So, so cool. I love it. I really, really love it. Miss Leia, my Sologeny Lime Bay fifth bloom. Thank you so very much for your support on my channel. And she blooms for you. The only way I can really show my appreciation and recognize that you have subscribed to my channel. It was during the month of January, I was just reaching a thousand subscribers. The milestone was looming closer and closer, January of 21, and you subscribing at the time that you did brought the channel one step closer to reaching the 1000 subscriber milestone. So thank you, Miss Leah, for that, for your timing and helping me get to that 1000 subscriber mark. I really appreciate it super important for my life, for my channel, and you were all part of that. Thank you so much, Miss Leah. Sologeny Lime Bay Fifth Bloom, all yours for the next two weeks.
eight, nine, ten. Ha ha, this is my Phalaenopsis Cornusobi variety Chatala day, going bonkers with blooms. This late in the season, that's a first for me. Anyway, three blooms that I am so happy to have go to Marie Duffy, Vailara, and Yep Sean. The reason I'm so happy about this is because normally this time of year, it's done. Lady Chatterley has done her bit for the summer and then starts to produce roots and, you know, gets all ready for the colder months of the year to start her whole cycle again next year. But no, I have at least one more bud to come up here. This is her first homegrown spike under my care. She came with this spike right here. Let me see if I can get you inside a little bit. Excuse the jiggle. So she came with this spike that is really quite developed back there. And it was all tucked in between the leaves. And then she blooms and blooms and blooms, being a sequential bloomer. But this season, she grew me a second spike. And it's blooming. <laughs> I'm so happy, I can't tell you. So, sequential bloomer, Lady Chatterley, very generous with the blooms this year, beautifully fragrant. I wouldn't say it's as fragrant as the Violacea that I have open right now, but she has a very plasticky sweet fragrance, I like to say, akin to a Tupperware that had some candy in it and the candy has been eaten, but that sweet fragrance with a hint of plastic in the background, that remains and that is what I smell when I'm close to her. So I have to be quite close to appreciate her fragrance, but my goodness, she is coming onto her own with these spikes. Excuse me, you're not wanted. So mealybugs get taken care of straight away, even this late in the season, mealybugs. Who knew? <laughs> but Mary Duffy, Vailara and Yep Sean, again in January 2021, I was just cruising towards the 1K mark and your subscriptions came in at that point in time. Thank you to you as well for helping me reach the milestone during that time period. So appreciate it. It was wonderful to see the response. It was wonderful to see how the numbers were going up, how my channel was growing slowly but surely. But then, you know, you're at the point, you're just about to reach 1K. And then there's a group of people that subscribe and it really, really helps. It motivates and it encourages. So thank you ever, ever so much for subscribing to my channel and for your support. Blooms eight, nine and 10, they bloom for you. We will hopefully get to see her with this bud open and these other blooms still intact. This one may have faded by then, but still I would say this leaf she is saluting herself, standing bolt upright. <laughs> it's tempting to go high five. You're doing well. Mary Duffy, Vailara, yep, Sean. Thank you for your support. And there's this cutie again, Eonopsis Popcorn Haruri, where her second spike has opened. And her second spike I dedicate to Marzipan Orchids. Thank you so very much for your support on my channel, Marzipan Orchids, really appreciate it. And this is what I wanted to show in the last bloom dedication, and I hope it focuses for us. That would be nice. How the new blooms are yellow, popcorn, butter popcorn color. So this one just recently opened, I, when I say recently, this one opened this morning, this one opened yesterday, and very quickly that yellow butter popcorn fades into pink. So I have to keep that in mind the next time I want to film her and show the different nuances of the colors because despite the fact that they do what they do, even though they tend to lose their yellow relatively quickly, the duration of the blooms lasts very, very long. It's the first time I have two spikes on the go at once and on this orchid. Last year I had two spikes, but they bloomed out separately. The second spike was the biggest spike I had ever had on my Eonopsis popcorn haruri. So I'm guessing that my conservative fertilizing method to protect the roots on the mount to get her established properly this season, added to the fact that my spikes aren't as abundant, 
but hey, I've got two at the same time. And I think that is absolutely charming as well. It gives me great, great hope for the coming season, now that her roots are established on the mound, that I can up the fertilizer a little bit and maybe get ourselves as generous a spike as I had last year. But this, let me see if I can focus in. This marzipan orchids, this spike blooms for you to say thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. It is very appreciated. I have a lot of activity beyond the hedge, cars coming and going. So I do apologize for all the noise pollution if I can't edit that out. It's also a little bit distracting and I don't want to distract away from saying thank you to Marzipan Orchids for being here. Really appreciate it. I hope that you and your channel are doing well. This gorgeous basket full of goodness and summery insanity <laughs> normally is not around this time of year but I do not mind, despite the fact that I have one spike less than I did last year. I also do not mind because all the spikes that are on this band across are bigger than they were last year. They are more abundant. I have six spikes to give away. So let me just read out the names. Krista Bathgate, Jacqueline, G. Memorabilia, Sandra Johnston, Yashoda Vishvakarma, and Mrs. Unnecessart. This is where the screen will help me because I will be listing all the names I just read out as a thank you for supporting my channel at the time where I was also just reaching the 1K mark as a milestone. So all this is happening as I go down my list, of course, the same time of year. So you all subscribed at a time that was for me and my channel quite critical. And I want to say thank you very much. Now, just to be clear, this spike was dedicated already. And the spike back here, this one was also already dedicated. So we've got this spike here, that one there, this one here, this one here, and this one right there for Krista Bathgate, Jacqueline, G. Memorabilia, Sandra Johnston, Yashoda Vishvakarma, and Mrs. Unnecessart. I think that is a beautiful mixture of supporters to my channel, all in one basket of goodness. So this orchid is clearly, as you can see, um, rather difficult to film. We are on the east side. I can't put her on a stand because she's got roots dangling down and there's root tips and all that stuff going on underneath. So she has to hang on the west side right now. It, it is super bright and sunny, which I love, but for filming, it looked terrible on camera. But her blooms are highly fragrant now. My blooming alley is filled with this gorgeous mixture of neo Phoenicia citrus, but also with a little bit of honeysuckle. So there's a mix going on. And with an abundance in a basket full like this, it is divine. Now that my durigan isn't in bloom anymore and my zagarig wax isn't in bloom anymore, this little bit of goodness and daily fragrance that this basket exudes is incredible. And I get to enjoy her because it is later in the season and the pollinators aren't as busy anymore. Last year, she produced a seed pod all by herself. So no pollinators, it's just me that can enjoy this fragrance at this point in time. Really, really happy once again. Thank you so very, very much. Krista Bathgate, Jacqueline, G. Memorabilia, Sandra Johnston, Yashoda Vishvakarma, and Mrs. Unnecessart. Really appreciate your support at a critical time for the growth of my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Ian, I wish you were here. At least I could show you the orchid and the blooms properly. After circling the patio for the best angle, the best light, etc., etc., I have come to the conclusion my first option right here by the hedge is better than anything else. I've tried the white wall, I've tried the west side. This orchid is just extremely complicated. 
to get right. But I do hope that you see what I'm getting at here and how beautiful she is. And finally, I do believe we have an ID. Thank you, Michael McCarthy. Panarica Press Martokapa. Not the Panarica Iono Center that I wanted, but she's got spots and she's got a funky lip and all of that combined, I'm okay that she's here with me and I am doubly okay because at least she is a species. I promised you a floofy, poofy cat, Leo, because we were talking about small, dainty blooms, and I'm like, right, you're gonna get one of those big, big, showy cat, Leos. Well, Ian, I cannot guarantee that I'm going to get that floofy, poofy cat, Leo, to actually bloom this year, and I didn't want to wait. If you watched my last episode of Blooms For You, you will know that this orchid has two spikes, and the sunlight is washing out the one spike to the left, Important is the spike to the right because that spike is for you. It blooms for you to say thank you very much. My other option was to bring you together with Michael McCarthy into a single pot, seeing as your banter is always so much fun to witness. So to the left, we have the spike that was dedicated to Michael McCarthy for everything that he does, not just for my channel, his support here, but in general around YouTube and every other orchid channel that is out there. So Ian, the spike to the right, that one blooms for you. So the two of you can have a wonderful conversation jibber-jabbering away in the pot while you are around at the same time. Yes, I think that these blooms are actually quite remarkable. Now, am I still looking for an Iono Centra? <clears throat> uh, you might know how this goes once you've wanted an orchid and you think you've got it, and then it turns out it is not that orchid. Suddenly you're thinking, I'm still wanting that one orchid, despite the fact that, you know, you're slowly running out of space. And <clears throat> yeah, maybe one needs to get over that little affinity. But I also was a little bit quick on getting the spike dedicated to you. You can see the blooms. Uh, we need to give them a little bit of help, just so that they open up quicker. But I was worried that the other spike, Michael's spike here, was starting to decline and I didn't want to have, you know, just one bloom hanging on. You can see there's a bloom already getting tired and going over. So, whoop, let's take you off. So I really, really wanted you both to see the Panarica Prismatocapa in full bloom with the two spikes dedicated to the two of you. Ian, thank you. Really, thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. Maybe if I can shade her a little bit, we can see a little bit more of the detail. There we go. That's one bloom out of 14. She is not fragrant, unfortunately, but I have to say that now I know she is relatively long lasting. I've got about three weeks out of the first spike and the bloom is only just now fading. So for the size of the orchid that she is, and yeah, she is big, I'm very grateful that she blooms in this time of year as opposed to in the winter, otherwise I would be in trouble. She is massive and she's getting bigger by the day because she's already starting on her next growth right there. So probably come spring 2022 or whenever she starts with her roots, she is gonna go into one of those big square pots because I'm not doing this every year. Anywho, I babble. Ian, thank you very, very much for supporting me here on my channel. I love our exchanges. I appreciate your time watching my videos and I really, really hope that you had a fabulous summer and are ready for the fall. So for this bloom dedication, I am going to move on to say thank you so much to an Orchid Ninja. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different because this Orchid Ninja might actually recognize what I am doing because once upon a time, I used to speak like this. Asante sana kwa kuwa msada mkubwa kwenye kituo changu inataminiwa sana. So that is Swahili for thank you so, so much for your support here on my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Sue Thompson, 
Thank you so much for also becoming an Orchid Ninja. If my channel wasn't called Ninja Orchids, it would have been something along the lines of tribal orchids, Maasai orchids, anything to do with Africa, but I would have limited myself to a certain continent based on the variety of the orchids that are around. I didn't want to do that. I also had in mind to call myself Twiga orchids because that is my nickname, Twiga meaning giraffe in Swahili. Sue Thompson, I also used to speak like this. I really want to thank you so, so much for everything you have done. You have supported my channel so very, very much. I thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. It is deep, deep, deep heart. So deep. My thanks go to you, your friendship, your comments. But there is another side to this orchid that we have to look at because all we are doing right now is looking at a bud that has not quite opened and it is very, very shy. And there is no, no excuse for being so shy. So we shall move the camera angle a little bit. And also, also I do, sorry, sorry for the fundi in the background. We have a fundi working in the background and I'm so, so sorry for that. Um, just a little bit of patience. Just bear with me, I, I excuse me. I will, I will uh, move the camera like this. Uh, try and do it properly and, and, and to, to, to just keep saying thank you while we look at the beautiful, beautiful blooms of this Vanda Leopard Yon. It is not a Leopard Yon, really. It is actually a Vanda mixed possibly a Lamellata with Crispata. I'm not really, really sure. It could also be a Cristata, but it is beautiful, beautiful. And for that reason, and also because of your membership, Su, Memsa Kubwa Su, I want to say Asante Sana, Asante Sana with my Lepedion spike here in Europe, anything that looks like spotted with a big tongue, it looks like an African animal of prey. But here we are, for you, Su Thompson, for being an orchid ninja, Lepedion, this spike, this is a surprise, a big, big surprise spike, because it was not supposed to bloom in this season here. We don't, uh, we don't have Vanda spikes blooming in September. It is very, very, very much unusual, but it is very, very beautiful because it is not so hot this time of year. And in this time of year, we are having nice and mild temperatures. So the blooms don't fade so quickly and they don't get so bleached by the sun. You know bleach, bleach like, like for laundry. When you do laundry, you'd use a little bit of bleach to make sure that everything stays white, like the curtain there behind you. But anyway, going back to the blooms, Sue Thompson, Orchid Ninja, Sue Thompson, you are so appreciated. And let me say this one more time in our language. Asante sana kwa kuwa nsadam kubwa kwenye kituo changu inatamini wa sana. Mimi napenda wewe. I used to really talk in that accent, so I know this dedication is going on a little longer, but I thought it was absolutely fitting. When I went on swimming tours and everything to all the tournaments, I was with my tribe, and this is how we talked. We talked like the locals. Even though I had nothing appearance-wise like a local, I started talking like this and imagine the horror of my mother when I came home and had this accent. It was very, very difficult for me to go back to another tournament because I kept coming back with this accent. So my mother told me, if you don't knock it off and don't address this accent, don't come back talking like this, please. You cannot go swimming in tournaments. And I thought, oh dear. <laughs> And then I tried to stop. It was very difficult because I used to hang around with more of my Rafikis out there than anybody else. So yeah, that used to be my accent as well. And sometimes I can really go back into it. And when I say, eh, Sue Dobson, <laughs> a Santa San, a squash banana for your membership, for being here, for supporting my channel. You are so appreciated. And anybody else that has just listened to this waffle if you haven't sat down, I hope you didn't fall over, but know that I do take my orchids very, very seriously, but I also take my members very, very seriously as well. When you become an orchid ninja, you get the personal touch, and I am so glad, Sue, 
again, so glad once you saw what was behind the scenes there in private, that you did just cancel the membership. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh dear, the major side I hear from cousin it on the left, pretending that that just now never happened. Awkward. Yes, I'm getting the silent treatment and he is just focusing on Dendrobium hibiki. Oh well, <laughs> can't please them all. But I want to say thank you to everybody that has watched this video. I appreciate your time so very, very much. I look forward to seeing hopefully some new names in the comments below so I can keep adding to my list so that one day I can find a bloom for you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.